Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door or Door Shut coming back to you with episode 10 of Tech It 2. And today we are going to be finishing up the plastic here. Um, I've got everything we need. So I've set up an Electrotine um, EMC generation downstairs. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, but I have the Electrotine generator. So what we're going to do is we're going to pump out these tiny dry rubbers. I'm not 100% sure how we're going to pump these out just yet. Um, but we will get there in a second. So what I want to do is place this Electrotene generator here. We're going to then take a hopper and then an ender chest, which has the Electrotene in it, and pump it into here, which will produce power. Okay. Now, what we need to do is be able to get these tiny dry rubber pieces, which I think I can do by just simply placing this here and then putting this in here. Okay, and then we put output, where is the front of this? Actually, is this the front of it? I think it's over here then, right? Actually, hold on, I can press shift. Left side north. Okay, we'll just put that there for a second and then do this. And that should provide power. Okay. Um, but now we have to figure out how to transport these because it doesn't look like it's going to push. Um, actually, do we need an add-on for that? I can't remember. Yes. Okay, let's go make an add-on. I kind of forgot. This version of Industrial Foregoing doesn't have the auto push and all of that stuff. So what we need to do is we need to make that upgrade. So let's see here. So we've got fluid, fluid, item stack, um, push is what we want. Okay, let's just look. So we're facing north. So it should have push north. Okay. So now we're making tiny, tiny dry rubber. So now we need to be able to take this tiny dry rubber and put it into um, a furnace, right? So I'm thinking the resourceful furnace, I think. Is that what we're using out here? Yeah, resourceful furnace. Let's grab one of those bad boys. I'm going to craft that real quick off camera and uh, the add-on we need for it, which will be a pull. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we should have everything here. I might want to push upgrade um, for this, but I think for now I just want to get this working. So we'll just plop this down here, and we're going to look west. Let's see here. West, perfect. Pull. All right, and we're going to take these cables. And I think what we want to do is actually just do that. So we have an, uh, the accessible uh, block here. And that should be plastic, right? Um, everything should be good. We're producing plastic. I kind of see the issue with this. We'd have to get these all like full for it to actually do anything properly. Because there's no way to just kind of filter this to split it. But I think for now, it's fine. It's working. We won't uh, we won't be too complaining about that. All right. So let's kind of patch this up, right? Um, and the Electrotene, it seems like it's not going to be the quickest because I did put a hopper on the other one as well. Um, but I don't think this really uses that much power. So I don't think we're really too, too concerned about that. But now we just need to get a pull upgrade and this will be completed. I mean, it is basically complete because um, you'll basically get three stacks uh, in here. But I mean, we can quickly go craft up one more upgrade on camera. Um, so I want to quickly talk about where we're going to go with this series. There is no real end 
in in a sense for tech it uh and i would assume that's kind of the same with tech it too which is this pack um i mean our biggest goal is galactic craft i mean that's kind of our end goal um we want to get to the ability to kill the wither which actually is is the wither in 1.12 okay yes all right i should make sure because honestly i can't remember um i mean there's no real look there's no real point in killing the weather apparently like i mean you get this stuff eh, it's not much of a big problem uh galactic craft i think would be the only thing that i could really think hey we we can end game this kind of thing um because i mean you've got all the different types of rockets the armor pieces the tools um like the astro miner that sounds absolutely fantastic to look into uh compressed steel steel ingots so we need steel production going here to get heavy duty armor um i'm assuming these are like different rockets right yeah so you got tier three rockets these are all tier one rockets i'm assuming there's tier two yeah there's tier two uh, so, I mean, that's kind of our end game, right? Uh, I don't a hundred percent know where to go between that, right? I mean, Project E is going to be like our kind of lifeline in a sense, because it is very important and it'll help us produce, you know, get there quicker, but we also just kind of have to figure out what we're going to be doing in the meantime. Because Project E is a lot of waiting, right? Like, this takes time. And the more and more energy collectors and antimatter relays and things I put on there and upgrade them over time, of course, we will get stuff quicker. And which means we'll get more resources quicker and all of that jazz. So it's all kind of just a waiting game, but also not a waiting game at the same time. All right, so we'll push that to up. And then we'll just grab a chest. We're just going to put this down right here, and we'll just have access to that. All right, so we've got plastic. Um, I think really what we need to worry about is kind of just starting getting Project E to the point of, hey, this is reliable. All right, so let's let's get that going. Let's look at what we need to get Project E going better. This is the Electrotine, by the way. It's just four energy collectors. I could do more energy collectors by using antimatter relays, but I wasn't really worried about it because um, it is going to take a lot of um, resources to actually get, and I need to worry about those resources first. So what I think I want to do is there's no real way to build a building for this at all it's just a massive uh, collection of arrays basically so let's actually go grab our diamonds well let's let's start this that's what i'm thinking let's start this chaos so we don't have too too many diamonds right about two stacks not a whole lot and what we'll need to do is basically create several blocks of diamonds here and we'll need some glowstone i should have normal glowstone blocks there we go um glass oh, let's grab some cobblestone make some furnaces here and then let's grab what am i thinking obsidian I probably want to get a bit more obsidian here. Okay, just a little bit, and we'll let that go for right now. So what we're going to make is Project E uh, collectors, okay? So with what we're building, you can make... I uh, So you can make four antimatter relays, and each of those antimatter relays can hold... I think technically three, but also technically four. I don't fully know how 
the shared antimatter relay and energy collector are. But I also may be overthinking this. So, four antimatter relays. Let's make those first. So I can kind of explain this. Let's quickly take a nap, and we're going to go build what they call in Project E, or Equivalent Exchange 2, is a power flower. And that's also what this was. That achievement. That's why it's called power flowers, because it allows for you to actually make power flowers. And of course, I will need more collectors, by the way. I'm going to craft them in a little while. So we're just going to place our first one right out in the open. Um, I'm actually going to build this two block tall. Just so I don't have to dig a hole. All right, so we'll place this, this, this. And this, and then of course we want to... Actually, no, we need five. Hold on. Not four. Five. That's what I was missing. I felt like I was missing something. The fifth one actually can go up here. And you can put one on top, one here, one here, one here, and one here. And this is what I was saying. is I don't know if these actually connect. Or if one is like, hey, I'm priority. I'm not 100% sure. So we'll put a collector, collector. And then of course let's grab our glowstone. And then we can grab more collectors. Alright, so there's the top taken care of. So then we can start working on the sides. I don't think I had enough glowstone, so I couldn't make all of them. Ran out of furnaces. I was expecting to run out of diamond blocks before that point, but that's alright. Alright, so we'll put that, that, that. Just cover all these with glowstone real quick. And we can then throw in a diamond in here. And this will be significantly quicker, as you can see. So, the thing is, is it will slow down. Because these were actually building up storage. Because they do contain storage for EMC. But the higher you go, the better it gets, right? So Mark 2, which requires dark matter, and then Mark 3, which requires red matter, and that's kind of your highest tier. You can see it's 40 EMC a second, which I believe is um, 20 ticks, I think, per second. I'm not 100% sure. 20 ticks, I think, is, is a second. So... And, yeah, it can hold up to 60,000. This one can only hold up to 10,000. And then each one of these is actually different as well. I don't think they, like... They, they basically are connection point. Uh, yeah, so maximum output, maximum output, and maximum output. Okay. Perfect. So we're just going to get diamonds just a little bit quicker. And that way we'll be able to make more power flowers and stuff in the future. And all of that jazz. And of course we can do one for iron, gold, redstone, all of that stuff. That's kind of what we're going to get to that point of. So, that is awesome. That's kind of our first starting point for Project E. And there's a whole lot to Project E. So, real quick, we can actually talk about kind of the end goal of Project E. Because this mod does end, right? There's a point where you don't really use it as much because it's just everything set up um there is the gem armor in this which i mean is quite expensive right you need a um emc klein star omega i believe these are actually full i'm not 100 percent sure it says zero but i think they were full back in the day um but that's 25 million emc because then you need four klein star spheres which is six million klein star vares Dre's, Zwee's, Ein's, and then Mobius Fuel, and Diamonds, and Mobius Fuel is Alchemical Coal, which is coal. So you kind of go into that pattern of, that's a lot of stuff, because you also need Volcanic Amulet and Body Stone, which is red matter, and I think this is just dark matter. And then of course this is red matter, this is dark matter, 
And uh, there's a few tools and stuff you can definitely make. Uh, the Red Morningstar and the Red Guitar are, are like some of the best tools in here. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be interesting. There's a portable transmutation tablet, which is a uh, dark matter block recipe. So it gets expensive. It does take a little bit of time. But if you do brute force a lot of it, you know, just using every single diamond you ever come into contact with, you'll definitely be able to get this started. Um, and I didn't really start on it right away just because I want to kind of get a lot of that point to myself rather than just Project E. So I think the next thing I want to work on is the quarry because it finished. And I did pick it up, by the way. That's why the guides are gone. Um, so it hit bedrock. And now what I want to do is figure out how we can make this simpler. So there's no way to make the power system simpler, right? Um, we could definitely look at getting combustion engines. We could look at getting um, different types of engines that would produce um, EMC, or not EMC, the actual power needed, which I think is FE now. I think it does run off FE. So, I mean, we could do something like that. But I do want to kind of stick to something like this. I think this is genuinely awesome. Yeah, so RF. FE. So they do produce basically the same thing. So we don't have any transportation of, of power wirelessly and means we're going to have to keep these Starlink generators afloat. Okay. And that's what I was thinking of. Man, that's why I was using hoppers, by the way. I completely forgot translocators were a thing. Oh, my brain. Okay. Anyway, what I want to do here is I actually want to set up this somewhere else and ender chest it, right? Ender chest the empty buckets and the lava buckets to and back and forth, right? Lava buckets go out, empty buckets come back in, okay? I think that's what I want to do. But I don't want to do a power flower kind of situation. I want to just have one collector, maybe not even a collector, honestly, because just one bucket coming in. I mean, yeah, collector is probably not a bad idea. So let's, let's get that going, right? I'm going to disassemble all of this real quick here. And that means, yes, all the redstone and everything is going to be all gone. Um, but I'm hoping to have it to where we can make it much, much simpler without having all of this complication of pipes and all of this, right? The timers, the pipes, the facades, everything. So let me get this torn down and I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so I'm setting up the quarry and I'm just going to do this area, which is kind of a bit further from the base, uh, but that's what I want. I've covered up the hole at the base and now I'm going to set up one over here just so we can clear out some of these trees um, and kind of just get a hole away from here. I don't want to keep putting holes by my base. So let's grab the other landmark that should be down here somewhere. Yeah, I made this a little further out than what I was, you know, thinking of, but it's fine. All right. So... Let's see, I don't have the ender chest set up, but I think I have a general idea of what I want to do for power. All right, so let's try this. So let's kind of clear out this. I could use a sickle, but eh, that's all right. All right, so let's get rid of some of this stuff. So we're gonna have our golden pipes, wooden pipes, so I think what we can do is kind of have our wooden pipe set up, right? Just like so. Golden pipes just running you know, directly into this. Oh, okay, so we can just move these over one. I don't want to make more pipes. All right, so we'll just set the wooden pipes here. I don't like that. I'll have to get over it then. Actually, no, I won't. I have 
covers. Yeah, right here. Nope. It's build craft. I can't use them. Okay. Anyway, we'll just keep that like that then. Uh, we're going to take our Starling engines. Place them all right here. Oh, come on. Place the thing. All right. So now what we want to do is take a chest. Let's clear out this section. So we're going to have a chest on the bottom, right? So down here is going to be like our translocators and stuff for emptying. So let's kind of clear out this real quick. Because we want to have the ability to empty them, right? So I've made more translocators so we can actually do this a little bit simpler. And I hope it'll work. I really do. All right, so we'll have, we don't really, I guess we don't really need a chest, but I'm going to put a chest here, and I'm actually going to need to, where's my other chest? Right here. Do this shenanigans, right? And then over here, all right. And then we're going to translocator these. So real quick, slot through the night. And I want to try something, because I don't know if this will actually work. Um, but if it does, it'd be perfect. I'm actually going to need the energy condenser here, because I don't have more than one bucket of lava. And I haven't set up a system yet. So we're just going to kind of cheese this for a second. All right, so we're going to do that. Do bucket of lava. I could actually just get rid of some of these seeds real quick. Uh, and then we'll just toss in my bucket. No, we'll just need that for a second anyway. So what I want to try is if I replace one of these, which will destroy the translocator, by the way. Not like I actually destroy it, just break it. If I place this like this, and I do this, and I say I only want empty lava buckets, or empty buckets, will this actually transfer? Okay, so there's no power because we need a lever, right? Oh, okay, that did work. So what I'm thinking is instead of a whole bunch of chests, we do hopper, 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 leading into an ender chest, right? We just do two ender chests. And then that will allow for us to kind of avoid needing more transportation systems. Um, and the only reason, actually, well, I don't think chutes are the right option. I don't think I have a chute. I thought I built a chute, but I don't remember if I actually kept it. I think I might have EMC'd it down or something of that sort. Because I need a way to filter. If I was able to get away without using these translocators left and right, I really would. But I don't think I have a way to just simply filter out items. Right? Okay, so I have a chute. Here's a chute. But I don't think... Yeah, it's just a normal, everyday chute. It's not what I would think it would be. And yes, I, I legitimately could use like the uh, the actual you know, item logistical stuff that I've been using, but I was kind of trying to find another way around it. As I know hoppers, they technically have the ability to set up um you know, item filtering and stuff with redstone and yada, yada, yada. But I really don't want to do that. That's just a lot more complicated than I was hoping for. 
I mean, there's even like the um, cork shoot, but it's like not great. Yeah, there's nothing else. All right, we're just gonna use a shoot, and we're gonna use the hoppers, and uh, I'm gonna get this set up, uh, get the ender chests and all of that, and I'll be right back in a second here. Alrighty, so let's be quick here. So, everything is working. I did have to use the pressure tubes and item importers and timers and all of that stuff for this system. Um, but the thing is, is it shouldn't be too inefficient. Um, you know, we have buckets, everything's going, everything's flowing, everything's full. Um, the quarry's going. I actually just threw some stuff in there from the other quarry run. Um, and I've also activated the quarry fixer, which added these walls and got rid of the water, so we'll have less lag, um, which is good, right? We've got a few things going up, the quarry going, what the, the fabric, plastic stuff done. Um, I think, oh, we also got the power flower stuff going. I think next episode, I want to kind of, you know, start towards steel. I think that's kind of where I want to go. We can definitely look at... Uh, the blast furnace and all of that stuff that's required. Uh, let's see here. So if I actually look at steel ingots, you can see blast furnace smelting, which is a 3x4x3 three by by three hollow core. Stairs valid in top layer. Uh, infernal brick stairs, infernal paver stairs. So we'll just need blast furnace bricks. So blast furnace. Let's see here. So it is nether brick or infernal stone pavers. Uh, so yeah, just nether brick, soul sand, magma creams. And that doesn't look too, too terrible. Um, I think for... But I want to get that going. I don't know how much automation can be done with that. Um, but having a collector of iron and a collector of coal... Actually, does it need coal? It might not even need coal. It looks like just iron of any sort can be thrown in here and made steel um, or smelting down of that stuff. Iron blocks. And it tells us the second, 64 seconds. So basically add upon that for everything. Uh, okay. I mean, that's fantastic. We, we don't have an EMC value. We will get granulated slag, which makes a bag of cement. Bag of cement can be made into reinforced concrete or stone ties. Stone ties make stone railroads. Okay, so there's... Some stuff we can do with slag. Um, but for now, we are going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really enjoying Tech It 2. Um, I've kind of just had to reevaluate where I wanted to go. Also, I didn't post Tuesday because that was my birthday. And I kind of just took that time off. And I didn't want to have to worry about making a video that day. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I'm really enjoying this. I can't wait to get further into this with steel production and a whole bunch of other fun jazz that will be coming up in the future. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!